What's up YouTube? Ninja Midget here. I'm uh, going to do a video on putting together the frame of a 1911. Uh, I already did the video of the slide and I'll link to that somewhere up in here. Um, so set that aside because we already did that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, frame assembly. Your first thing to go in is your trigger and that just slides in the back and there are recesses, there are channels up in here that this slides in and then you want to look in the top and make sure that you get it all lined up and it just slides right in. Okay, after that what you're going to do is you are going to take your magazine release and you get this on camera here, this lug this lug right here is what rotates when you turn this screw in here it's under spring tension and that lug's going to rotate up this way clockwise pop out into a recess in the frame and that's going to hold it captive uh, and that's what's going to keep your uh, mag release in place so you just drop that in i'm going to put just a little tiny bit of uh, pressure on that uh, mag release to push it up a little bit uh, while you're turning this uh, set screw clockwise until it locks in place there and you'll hear a little click and it'll it'll go in place there we go as it gets in that recess and that's what holds that that mag release in there okay from there I always use this is uh, one of those mag releases that's got the little screw in button for it makes it a little bit bigger easier to use I always uh, put a little tiny dab of Loctite on there before I screw it in just so it's not walking out on me uh, as I'm shooting screw that in place there we go okay uh, the next piece that's going to go in is going to be your sear assembly and that's what was the name of that again I just had that your What was that? Let me look that up here. Okay, yeah, that's your receiver disconnector assembly. And then here's your here's your uh, your sear. And your sear is going to go just like this. Position this with the little hump up, like that. And your sear is just going to float right on there. And it's going to look like this once it's all put together fine. And you can just hold. Uh, you can just hold that disconnector and it'll hold the whole, the whole assembly up. Uh, now, with most 1911 frames, you've got this little uh, portion of the frame here that uh, has a hole in it. It helps a lot if you just go ahead and slide a magazine in place. That gives you a spot for that to, uh, that sear assembly to rest on when you put that in so you just grab it like this grab it by that disconnector uh, and slide the whole thing in and what you're going to do is it's going to go up inside let me get a view of it here that hole right down there that hole that you see right at the bottom yeah that one right there this part is going to slide right in there so you just lay it on there slide it forward If it's gonna there it is and it slides right in place easy enough and then there it is you see it on the top that little piece right there okay so that's in place from there what you want to do and let me show you a little bit of function here of uh, how how this works these two pieces work together they go in the gun just like this if the gun is uh, sitting like this, this little duckbill thing goes toward the back, and then this sits right in here like this. And then what happens? This is captive with this pin, and this piece is what actually depresses your uh, your plunger for your uh, trigger safety. And they go in just like this. see if I can get a good view of it here just like that that's how they fit in this rotates this way which pushes that end up 
going to push that end up. And what that does, this is the part that's sitting right here inside the gun. And then when that pushes up, that depresses your plunger for your trigger safety. So there's one of your safeties right there. It's those two pieces. Now, the first piece of this is going to go in after you put the main sear assembly in. And yes, it's still in place there. It goes in just like this. So the little duckbill guy is facing forward. Or the duckbill's facing toward the back of the gun. To be a little more accurate with it. And it's going to just slide right in place there. Push that up inside there. Unless, of course, your screwdriver's magnetized. Then it's going to want to walk out on you. So that, I'm going to need to push that up a little bit. It has to be right in the right spot or it's just not going to work with me here. What you do is after you get that in place, you're going to stick a punch through there. You know, line up this whole thing. And just You're putting the punch in so that you know that everything is all together real nice. And they can tend to fall out of whack. So you want to kind of hold it sideways like this. And then you want to take your smaller pin, this pin right here, and you're going to just stick it right through the back side. You're going to find that hole in the back side. Yep. And it went and fell out. This is one of those things that it just it it's a lot easier to do when you're not trying to do it on camera so that uh, you're showing people what's happening. It's not as hard as this. You know, so if you haven't done this before, don't worry. It's just that I'm trying to move this around into position and uh, get a good view on the camera while I'm doing it. When you're just doing this, it just falls right in. It's very simple. So there we go. I had it all lined up again. It's probably a better angle. And find that hole. Boom, there it is. Oops, it falls right out if you're not careful. So, get that up in place. Hold it in, turn it over. And there we go. That's in place now. Now next, this is where you're going to do your hammer. And this is where you're going to do the second part of your uh, trigger safety. This is going to slide right in here inside this little recess. Let me get to my camera. I just dropped it down there. Where'd you go on me? Oh, there it is. Okay. So that's going to slide right in there. And it's a lot easier if you just hold the gun on its side, slide it in until it just drops right in place. And it's going to just sit there on that ledge. Right like that. So, after that... You're going to put your hammer in, and it goes up with this hole up here. Let it rest on there. Uh, do your thing with the punch again. Get that through there so that you've got a nice you know, match up there with the holes. And you're going to just drop this pin right in. And that just drops in. And there's your hammer assembly with the two pieces of your uh, your trigger safety in there. From there... What you're going to want to do is you're going to rotate your hammer up with your hammer strut and get that out of the way. And then this is when you're going to put your sear spring in. And it's got this little notch. And that notch goes right there. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to just lay it in on top of your sear. Just so that it falls into place in this little groove. And you want to make sure that it's resting on. Well, here, let me get the firing pin block in, or the uh, the, the uh, hammer spring block, as that holds this little uh, spring system in place. My screwdriver is slightly magnetized here, so it wants to stick to these. You want to make sure that all three of these legs, this one is here on top of the sear. This one is resting down on uh, on this disconnector. And then this third one, up in the air like this. That's the way you want it. And 
and then <clears throat> at that point what you're going to want to do that's all in place uh, you're going to want to get your detents back in place that's this part right here and you notice there's a little bulge in this spring that's a design that I think is unique to pair ordnance kind of an interesting little design to keep it from jumping out on you it just kind of screws right in here and you got to twist it as you're putting it in and then it'll just pop all the way in place and it keeps that from jumping out on you which normally isn't too much of a problem anyway on these but it's kind of an interesting little design feature that they got on there okay so then you got your hammer spring assembly in place next what's going to go in place is going to be your back strap safety and that uh, is what this spring is for. This part of the spring is for your back strap safety. So what you're going to want to do, first of all, your hammer strap goes down and then your back strap safety is going to slide right in here just like this. And now that, because it is under spring tension, you're going to need to hold that in when you put the pin in place. But one thing you want to notice here, let me see if this is on camera here, hammers in the forward position there's no place for your um, your trigger safety to go in that's because the hammer if you watch this when it rotates needs to be in a rear position that's gonna give you that opening and that clearance so that your your trigger safety will slide in there it'll slide in place I have to wheel it around a bit And there you go that slides in place and then you want to take your little tiny screwdriver or your punch or whatever and you're going to push that detent in while you're putting some pressure on this to get it to go down and it just locks right in place there's your thumb safety in place back strap safety since we got the sear on already to take that mag out get that out of the way and your safety works. It's not firing when it's in the up position. Uh, depress the trigger. Well, you got your back strap safety on. The hammer's not functioning yet. The hammer spring's not in there yet, I should say. Uh, okay, so you got that in there. After you got that in there, what you want to do is this is when you're going to push your uh, main hammer spring into place. That detent is where um, your hammer strut is going to want to go right in there as you push that up in and this has got a lot of because that's your hammer spring that's got a lot of uh force on it so you want to go ahead and put your trigger in the forward position so you don't have to push up so much on it so hard and then what you've got there is this pin this pin with a little detent in the center and that's because there's a little ball bearing in here that's under that same spring pressure as your uh, hammer so you're going to push this in here get that started going in there and that is going to just go straight in like so and there you go and that's captured on that detent make sure that your hammer is functioning uh, if it if it goes back and clicks in place, then you know you've got your uh, your hammer spring on that detent, uh, your hammer strut on that detent ra rather, and it's uh, functioning properly. Um, fires, uh, safety's on, does not fire. Safety's off, and the back strap safety is um, still up, will not fire. You push that down, fires. So you got good function on that. From there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our our uh, put all those back in place here. Your grips, just get those on there real quick. I'll snug them down after the video. I'm not going to worry about getting them on there super tight right now. I just want to get them on. So, there's your other side. Your other 
screw. And there you go. Okay, so for putting your slide on, you put the barrel in with the this link forward. Put that in. From there, you're gonna go ahead and grab your uh, recoil spring, feed that through there. Uh, the uh, link needs to be not in the down position, not in the up position. You gotta push your uh, your recoil spring all the way up against it. Let that lean against there like that. That's what's gonna line it up for you when you put your frame on. Um, now, one other thing on this, you can see by the hammer there, there's that plunger that's uh, that's sticking up there. That's your plunger that when you push on your trigger, it's going to push that up. Let me see if that... No, it's right here. Yeah, see. So, um, as you're moving your... Uh, your slide around and 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 uh, you know trying to get the frame in position that might jump up on you. Be aware of that. If your slide doesn't go back, that's probably in the up position. It's hitting that plunger. So, uh, ow! Cock your hammer back. And you're gonna go ahead and just slide it in like so. Slide it in until it lines up. And I probably got that. What am I not doing right? No magazines in there. Probably. Oh, I just had it out of out of position a little bit. This is again one of those things. It's not hard. It's just difficult when you're trying to uh, film. You got video rolling and you're trying to get the right camera position. Normally, this is just a field strip. It's a no-brainer. So, you're just going to slide that right in there. It's going to slide right on. Slide right back into place. And you're going to get your slide in the right position. So, you got your little notch there. And that's when you're going to go ahead and put in place your slide stop. It just goes right in like that. Slide your slide all the way forward and first things first you're going to need to put your um, your spacer in here that slides in in this position and you gotta return it all the way around so that it's in this position because then it's going to clear uh, your spring and everything so you can put your uh, your cap on and move that down and I'm not going to show this on camera because I don't want to launch this thing into my basement but, you know, if you've gotten this far in the video, you know what I'm doing. I'm just putting that, uh, that in place. And there's your completed and assembled 1911. Uh, you know, check your function again. Fire's fine. Safety's on, does not fire. Safety's off, back straps up, does not fire. You press the back strap fires so there it is completely functioning uh, all put together uh, really simple design on this gun not one of the best functioning guns out there you know a Glock's gonna run circles around these guns uh, performance wise uh, but my goal is to see if I can dial this in to be a nice uh, a nice performing uh, gun just because I like the design it's a cool old design and they're fun to shoot uh, having the curved up beaver tail uh, back strap is awesome that's one of the upgrades I did on this uh, because the first 1911 I had was a Gersant had the uh, back strap safety that curved down into your hand and that would just chew up your hands as you're shooting horrible um, but anyway that's it for this video um, Nothing more from me. Ninja Midget, signing out.